एंड वेलकम टू एम टी डी सी एन सी इंडिया टूडे वी आर हेयर एट रेनेशॉस न्यूली इनोग्रेटेड टेक सेंटर इन हार्ट ऑफ बैंगलोर पीनिया इंडस्ट्रियल एरिया एंड आई एम हेयर विद मिस्टर पॉल हु इज द एम डी ऑफ रेनेशो एशिया पैसेफिक एंड ही इज गोइंग टू टेल एस हाउ इम्पॉर्टेंट इज दिस टेक सेंटर फॉर दैम थैंक यू पॉल थैंक यूनिटी ओपनिंग इज अग पार्ट ऑफ आर प्लान हेयर इन इन इंडिया बैंगलोर इज द हार्ट ऑफ आर सेल्स मार्केटिंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन and obviously the heart of the cnc world as as india and all cnc oems are based here so we felt it was critical to our business that we could showcase the technology that rennie shows famous for globally here within that heartland of the cnc world and we we our plan here has been for a number of years obviously with covid we've been delayed a little bit but now we've we've had the chance to do this and we've really moved fast um the uh, what we want to do is bring people here to show them what they can achieve to take the equipment that they have today and and upgrade it almost in the sense of the capabilities functionality and yes. results yes you know people are very driven today by productivity cost of manufacturing quality control that's our game as i call it yes. that's our home that's where we feel comfortable so i think when he shows like a consultant yeah of course we sell something but we are a consultant yes yes exactly so i to totally agree with you uh, that uh, rena renesha has been a uh, i mean uh, very important in uh, machine and tool industry and this bangalore is very very strategic location for you right because it is a hub of machine tool industry and as you said earlier that your policy of look east and yeah. india is a very par important part of that policy yeah. because uh, east eastern asian uh, market is 50% of your turnover correct correct that's right yes in, in that india is very very important fastest growing market yes so i think it is a very very good strategic decision from that standpoint of yeah i mean rani show has been in india for quite a number of years 1998 if my memory serves me correct and uh, but we we started with a small operation that was pretty much part of our manufacturing facility which is in pune now uh, that facility grew very fast but our sales and marketing was at a much slower rate if it has been in the last sort of 3 to 4 years just started pre covid that we started to say look guys we really need to kick this forward we could see the future's coming you know 10 years ago india people were unsure with all the different regulations and the government situations but since then things have changed stable government government support of industry export driven as well not just domestic driven but export driven and that really drives technology because people then realize that if i want to get that quality levels i have to invest more and that's exactly what's happening now and as you heard from the earlier speeches from 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 ams and other people you know the government is behind them it's giving them the incentives and and we want to be here to, to join that join that that that, that party shall we say absolutely and i think uh, as you know that indian government target of reaching 5 trillion economy and india will become a third largest economy in the world i think uh, this manufacturing sector is going to a big contributor in that uh, yeah. dream right and uh, you are rightly said that government is supporting uh, indian industry in exports as well which will create lot of demands for your products as well one of the key elements i think is is you talk about domestic well domestic is fine but the export market yeah. and if you look at economies around the world where they've excelled and grown fast as is is say it's phase 2 yeah. phase 1 is a domestic market but phase 2 is i'm now an exporter people want to come to my country to make products in my country to sell back to them that's the big step and i think if you look at other asian countries that have been successful that's what they've done yeah. and i think india is now realizing under the current government we need to get exporting yeah we need to make it easier to do business exactly. in india exactly no you are right and also india has a demographic dividend they have a young young yeah. engineers a lot of young engineers and which also make it a very very you know a great point for india right and i think uh, i as i saw the response of your team they are also very very excited to have this tech center i think it's it's a kind of dream come true from them yeah it's like a home you know that for many years we have an office but what's the difference is you just got an office you're always going to the customer you're not inviting the customer to you yeah. and i think you need to get that balance of course you must visit customers 100% but at times you want to say come and see what we've got yes. come and join us and let us show you what we've got and that's important so it's in india we've we've been doing it it's by actually in the last 2 years we've expanded significantly in the epac region in terms of demo facilities we've opened a tech center in korea uh, we've also purchased a building in nagoya in south of japan and that's that's our new tech center and logistics center for japan so we've been very busy during this covid period looking at investment for the future because we know the bounce is coming back and today in india is another example of that exactly great thank you thank you paul uh, i wish welcome. you all the best i thank think you. this tech center is going to be a very very huge uh, success for you guys thank you and thank you for the opportunity thank you